Let's talk about climate change. Oh, where do we begin with the illustrious tribe of climate change deniers? Folks who look at 97% of the scientific community agreeing on human-induced climate change and say, nah, I know better. It's like refusing to believe that water is wet because a puddle dried up in your backyard once. Let's talk about the classic, it's cold outside so global warming is a hoax argument. Ah, yes, because a chilly day totally negates decades of data on rising global temperatures. That's like saying, I ate a salad once, so obesity is a myth. And then there's the natural cycle of aficionados who believe Earth just has a fever and will get over it. Sure, let's ignore the fact that human activity is pumping CO2 into the atmosphere faster than you can say fossil fuels. It's like watching someone pour gasoline on a fire and then blaming the fire for getting bigger. And don't forget the conspiracy theorists who are convinced that all the world scientists get together one day and thought, let's make up a climate crisis for giggles. Because nothing says a good time like creating a global panic over a dying planet, right? And oh, the economic excuse. Addressing climate change is too expensive, they cry, clutching their wallets as if air and water are luxury items. Ignoring climate change is like ignoring a leak in your boat. Sure, fixing it costs money, but if you don't, you'll soon be swimming in the ocean. Lastly, the I'm not a scientist, but crowd. Oh, we know that you're not a scientist. Trust us, it shows. It's curious how people who can't differentiate between weather and climate suddenly become experts when it comes to denying global warming. In conclusion, Climate change denial is the epitome of ignorance being bliss. Except in this case, the bliss is leading us down a path of global calamity. So let's stop denying and start acting, because unlike climate change deniers' arguments, the impact of climate change is very real.